Welcome back to Buckets and Bibles. So, doing a video, this is my second take um, because for some reason I hit stop on accident um, when I was trying to switch the camera around. Uh, so, my camper, um, this guy right here, uh, I was staying in that one over there, but now I'm staying in this one because this one's mine and it's uh, a little bit bigger and uh, the layout works a little bit better for us. Um, but I'd left this on my land uh, and was working a little ways away, you know, out of town quite a ways and uh, ended up moving the family back down here where I'm working. Um, and man, I forgot that if you leave water in your hot water tank on these campers, that if you have some really hard freezes, they'll bust. And um, I knew that the lines were possibly, you know, gonna crack. And so, yeah, of course I had that. And then I went to fix them and my hot water tank was busted. And I don't know if you guys ever priced these out, but they're not cheap, they're like 500 bucks. And they're not really that great. Um, the cool thing is, is that they run on electric and propane. So that's nice to have the option if you want to run propane or if you want to run, uh, you know, grid power or generator power. But you didn't have a long shower. I don't know if you guys ever tried to take back-to-back -back showers when you're out glamping in a camper or something like that, or if you had some friends that had one, or if you stay in one. Uh, they don't, they think they're like a six gallon tank. I mean, they're pretty small. And even with uh, the water turned down low, which sucks already because you got crappy water pressure if you have to turn it down low. Uh, I think for me, it was always a headache because trying to fill up the bath for the kids and I've got a pretty good sized tub on this and, um, you know, good enough for the kids to stretch out in. Not quite big enough for me, the old lady, you know, she can't, you know, lay out in it and shave her legs or anything like that. But, um, it's definitely bigger than the other one we were in. <sighs> so we got blessed. I was trying to find an instant hot water heater and we got blessed with one. And I'll take you guys back and show you really quick um, what's going on with this one. It's still got a little tiny leak. I just noticed a minute ago, so I'll fix that probably today. Um, but let's see if it gets you in there. So usually there's a panel. I got it down so I can show you guys. That's the hot water tank, which is, I don't know what they did on that, but <laughs> it's a hot mess. So either way, there's a couple little shutoff valves that I have shut but they seem to be leaking still. So um, I'll take you around the other side. So basically um, what I did was, is I put an instant hot water heater in, in, in our bathroom. And instead of running it over there because it's an interior and not an exterior hot water heater. And I've seen a lot of people, will you hold that up for me? I've seen a lot of people um, get them and get the little camp ones and they have a low gallon per minute count on most of those and they're battery powered which is neat um, that they're battery powered that runs off propane uh, but the flow rate's usually pretty low and i don't know actually how hot they get um, i think dudley said that his is great but he's had one freeze before um, and i was really worried about having one outside and having it freeze and so what i did was is i started looking for the interior ones <laughs> so um what what i decided to do was is go with an interior and what i did was instead of putting it back there where that was there wasn't really any room i put it in the bathroom and so right now we're underneath the bathroom this is this big guy here oh there it is this big guy here is for that's the toilet and so right above that we've got the toilet inlet and then uh, that's the water for the toilet. And then this is where I, I put a T in and I did uh, cold water inlet to the hot water heater. And then this is the hot side. And so I did hot water out and then tied into the existing stuff with a T. Um, and then this here is the propane. You guys stop. Uh, this is the propane. And I did individual propane for this one instead of trying to tie into. So it's got its own regulator and stuff it's just easier for me to to manage what it's using and isolate it from everything else so i'll take you in and show you really quick um how good it works because it's amazing um i'm pretty sure that i took the longest shower ever recorded in a camper the other day and uh <laughs> i mean 
Yeah, I think that was always an issue because with the small camper tanks, you know, you get maybe maybe 10 minutes if you have the water on just right. Um, and then you gotta wait. Um, or you have to turn the water pressure down to go any longer than that. And it, the water pressure is kind of terrible when you do that. Um, so let me take you in and show you what we did. So that guy right there is pretty cool. And what I'll do is I'll turn the hot water on on my sink over here and you guys can watch it come on. All right. And then you get the little flame that'll come on showing that it ignites, there it goes. And then you can watch the temperature start to go up. And so there it goes. And it's pretty fast. I mean, less than a minute, you got it anywhere in the camper. I'm turned it off now. Um, it's got eco mode, which one of my littles keeps trying to turn it on because she thinks that's better, but I don't like it because it's, it's not that great. Um, but basically, yeah, basically what we got is a really efficient way to have instant hot water heater and uh, or instant hot water. And the cool thing about it is, hey guys, uh, one of the cool things about it specifically is, um, you know, like in a hot water tank, you don't want to use like your hot water side to drink out of or to fill up like anything for boiling, usually because those tanks are dirty. And even if it doesn't look like it, if you ever go and look at the sediment that comes out of hot water heaters, um, the tanks on any of them, uh, they're gross. But this one doesn't have really a holding tank. It's got more of a radiator that's a really, uh, it doesn't hold, the, that water always circulates through. So you can take this hot water and use it for all kinds of stuff. <coughs> <coughs> like boiling, noodles, whatever you can kind of jumpstart the process with that that you can't do with the hot water tank without getting a little bit of contaminants. Now the other camper we were in, I'd cleaned it out when we first got it, um, but it started again right before we moved into this one. It started having issues with, we were trying to give the kids bath. It was starting to look like kind of muddy, dirty water. Not super bad, but like, like a little bit of rusty pipe stuff. And, uh, so it probably needs to be cleaned again, but I think that one was pretty close on its last, last legs. I mean, a lot of the components uh, didn't work or were rusted out that needed to be replaced on them. Um, it leaked a couple times and I had to fix it. So, but like I said, I forgot that these ones crack and um, got it got it set up on this one. And so if you're thinking about doing it or if you got questions, I would highly recommend it. And you know, if you don't have the bread, those are about 500, 600 bucks. Um, I worked a deal with the brother to get that one. Um, he actually shot it with a bow and arrow on accident several times. I don't know how you do that several times on accident. I don't think he realized what box he was shooting. Um, but praise y'all that nothing on the inside was broken. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been awesome. We've been running it for about three days now without any issue. I'll give you guys a review on it later, but it's epically cool. And uh, I think that the interior one for me is a safer bet. Um, I have put one of the cheaper camp style ones that run off of batteries in in a in a, in a brother's house and. Um, and then put exhaust out the wall and up and put a you know a rain hat on it and all that with double walled pipe and still somehow during the wind and the freezing it blew enough cold air and then to freeze part of that top of that radiator and it cracked uh in two spots so i'm i'm hoping this one won't do it uh several people have had the same model um that have used it and when i've used it we haven't had any issues with this particular one but this is like definitely a higher end one than some of the cheaper ones. And when I say cheaper, you can get them anywhere from like 180, 150, 180, all the way up to about 300 for the cheaper battery operated camp style ones. Um, and I don't know, I think the, the gallons per minute kind of sucks. Um, most cappers run maxed out on 55 PSI and um, I think about five gallons per minute, somewhere around there. 
um, which means you can fill up a five gallon bucket in about a minute. Um, so that's pretty good. And it's about like what city water is on the RV pumps, the pumps that come on their, on their tanks. And they're, they're just not, it's not a bad way to go. And so this system can run off of that um, and it won't affect the water temperature, won't get too hot, any of that. It's, it's really neat. So if you guys are thinking about doing it, it is epically cool. And the, the exhaust on the top, I had to drill a hole through the side of the camper. Um, I, I wanted to go through the wall instead of through the top because roofs leak on these things like crazy. Um, it's just really easy to get them to leak. So I was like, nah, we'll, we'll just do it the other way. So what I decided to do is go through the wall and I have back to back long showers um, in the camper and I was checking for heat coming off the exhaust. And I used double wall pipe, which isn't cheap, but definitely the way to go um, and that stuff is you can still put your hand on it so I'm not worried about it melting the wall or sealing anything like that um, and yeah it's been it's been awesome so if you guys like that um, or if you've had any experiences with it put it in the chat put it in the comment and uh, tell me what you think all right guys so